Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and I'm your Tuesday hostess. Now this week's topic is all about working with other witches but not in a coven. And for those of you who are solitary and may not have um, any witches who live around you or may not think other witches live around you, there are some things that you can do in order to participate and work with other witches. Um, it doesn't have to be a ritual. It doesn't have to be a spell. You know, you could just find other witches on Facebook or YouTube and you could chat um, on a Google Hangout. You could chat um, live on Facebook. You could do Skype. There's numerous ways that you would be able to connect live with people. I mean, cell phones. I mean, let's, let's be real. You could actually, you know, if you wanted to... Um, even even do FaceTime with that and even if you are doing a ritual you guys could do that together um, or like I said you could just hang out and talk. So another great way to meet other witches or to hang out with other witches and do things with them is when they are locate when there is an open ritual and I know that in Scotland I know in New York and I'm sure there are other areas as well that have this open ritual where anybody and everybody can come to this and participate in this ritual doesn't mean that you have to belong to a certain coven or belong to a coven at all and it's a great way to hang out and do that you know if you know some witches who are going to be vacationing in your area you know, maybe you guys could meet up somewhere, go to dinner, have lunch, have coffee, you know, whatever, and just kind of do some shopping or something and hang out. Renaissance festivals is another great place. And there's also retreats. Um, there are pagan retreats, and that might be something that you might consider, especially if you're a solitary practitioner and would really like to interact with some other pagans or witchy people. Um, you know, lucky for me, I do have members of my paranormal group who are witches. Now, I don't get to see them all the time, but when I do, it's absolutely amazing. We do try to get together, not just for paranormal investigations, but we go out to dinner. Um, you know, we do certain things. I went to a Renaissance festival festival with one of our members and actually went on vacation with them last year and we went to Arizona and that was a whole heck of a lot of fun and hopefully in the future I will get to do that again with some other witches um, that are part of our group and maybe some witches who aren't part of our group that would be really fun for me to do and it's something that you could do as well so that's some of the ways that you can connect with other witches that you can work with them. Um, another great way and something that I do with my friends is we share a ritual. And by sharing a ritual, I mean somebody writes it, one person writes it, and then, you know, sends it to everybody that's part of the group. And then even though we're not together, some people are at the same location together, but there are some of us who live in other states. And so what we do is on the night that the one group of friends is doing the ritual. The rest of us are doing the ritual as well at the exact same time. So that's another way that you can do things. Um, and it's something that we do. Again, if you're going to, um, you know, do some spell work, you could do that together and um, pass the spell out, have everybody have the same supplies and go with it that way. Because the energy together is can amplify anything so that's really what i have for this week um, i know it's probably not a lot and i'm sure there will be a lot more information added from others that they do um, in their area and with their witchy friends and stuff so until next week i'll talk to you later